So in this video, I want to spend a few minutes talking about this pencil sharpener here. It's called the Kuhm Masterpiece. It's from a German company called Kuhm. They make a lot of different pencil sharpeners. Uh, and this is one of their higher end models. It sells for about 20 or $22. Uh, you probably know about this one. This is probably their most popular model. It's called the Automatic Long Point. Uh, and this masterpiece is sort of a uh, higher end version of that. They too have a lot in common, but the masterpiece has a few different interesting features. First of all, just on the packaging really quickly, it comes in this little protective case like this, which you don't really need. Like it's, it's made of magnesium or something really sturdy. So it's not like it's gonna crack or anything. So it doesn't need a plastic case. It also has this little neoprene case uh, I think this is probably more to make it seem like, you know, worthwhile of the masterpiece name and then also to keep it from being messy inside your bag or whatever, but it certainly doesn't need all this packaging. Anyway, but it is nice that it's there. So here's the sharpener. It has a metal body, a plastic stopper piece that can be removed. And we'll get into that why that works in a second. Uh, why, why it works like that in a second. And obviously it's a two blade design, so two holes. Get into that in a second too. And then uh, not too much else to it. There's a logo there, just a, it's just a sticker, it's nothing fancy. And there are two included replacement blades, which is pretty common. Uh, Coom does that here as well. You can see the two replacement blades. So that's not, the replacement blades aren't, it's a nice feature, but it's not specific to the higher end model. I will say that uh, there is, no, here it is. There is some more on the packaging here. There's a barcode or a QR code. It doesn't work anymore. So uh, you might've found this video because you looked for the QR code that doesn't work. So anyway, hopefully, I've never seen the video, but hopefully this will do it justice. So here's the sharpener. Uh, it's two hole sharpener. So one hole to basically do your main sharpening, the main job, and the other hole will sharpen the tip, the writing tip or the lead or the graphite, whatever you want to call it. And this piece right here, the blue piece is a stopper. So you can make the lead as long as you'd like by removing the stopper. If you keep the stopper here, the lead will stop. Number one downside of this sharpener, aside from the price and what everyone will point out about it is there's no way to catch the shavings. They're just going to go wherever they go. Uh, that's going to absolutely be a deal breaker for many people. So I'm assuming it's not for you because it's pretty obvious. This doesn't have any way to catch shavings. You know, I have tried kind of putting it like this in this little cup, but it's too small. It doesn't work. It's not worth the trouble. So here I have a pencil and you're really supposed to use this with a higher end pencil because you really need the lead to be centered in this to get it to really work well. So you're going to put it in here. In hole number one, you will do your sharpening. It's a little bit hard to do on camera. I don't wanna make anyone dizzy with all the shaking, but you'll get this sharp. And you'll see that right now you're, sh you're shaving down this whole piece, the, uh, you know, what I would call the collar. And this is a low angle sharpener. So, this angle right here from basically, if you picture this as a cone, it's supposed to terminate at eight degree. So an eight degree angle. So it's a very long pencil with a very long tip exposed to it. It won't be really sturdy because the writing tip will be very long. So it'll be more prone to breaking, but it'll stay sharp longer as you write it, assuming you don't break it. So at some point what will happen here is the writing tip will go through this hole. You'll see it start here. And now you see this writing tip is not any sharper than it was. It's basically uh, not been sharpened because there's a hole right here where that blade stops. And you can make this as long as you'd want if you remove the stopper. Otherwise, the blue thing is just gonna stop you and that'll be the point at which the, uh, the full writing tip is exposed. You could stop on your own, obviously, if you'd like. But here we have 
the writing tip. I missed this portion right here, but that'll come right off. There's the writing tip, clearly rather blunt. So this is not what you want. So now you'll move over to hole two, and now you will sharpen the lead itself. This is where it actually gets rather messy, and I really wish there's some way to catch the shavings because a bunch of pencil shavings going all over your desk is a mess. And then if it lands on whatever your piece of paper is, then uh, you could ruin whatever you're doing or you have a lot of erasing ahead of you. I've been using this pencil for some months, sorry, this sharpener for some months now, so it's not quite as sharp as it would have been on day one, but you should get the, get the gist of what's going on here. So now I'm sharpening the writing tip. You could see no real wood is coming. It's just releasing uh, the shavings of the writing tip. And now here is that end result. I have a long collar or whatever you want to call it, the long wood piece and a long, sharp writing tip. I could keep sharpening this and get it really razor sharp. If I want, I have to apply a little bit of forward pressure to the pencil. And now I'm getting it really nice and tapered. So that is pretty much the goal with this pencil, more or less. Uh, and it's a nice writing tip. It would work well, no problems there. What you could do alternatively is you could remove this piece. And now the writing tip will just keep going as you sharpen. You can get as long as you'd like with that writing tip, depending on how much you feel like you want. And basically by having a longer writing tip, you can go longer without having to resharpen the pencil. But the trade-off will be, obviously you are wearing down your pencil a lot, like you're not gonna have a lot of life out of this pencil. And then without the protection of the wood body, the lead is gonna be, or the graphite, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be more prone to breaking. So you can see it's really good about sharpening away the wood without touching the graphite. It's pretty much untouched. And now you could sharpen the writing tip. Obviously you're only sharpening the very end. This is not so much of an angle that you're gonna sharpen the full you know, quarter inch or half inch or whatever is exposed, but you could sharpen uh, what you're actually gonna be using and then you could write for a while and resharpen it if, if you want, or just start using that blunter tip there. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can see I'm starting to get this to a nice angle and this is definitely ready to do some writing. And this hole number two, sorry about that, doesn't, again, it doesn't touch the wood. All you're doing is sharpening down that writing tip. And if you apply a little bit more pressure, it'll do a better job. Uh, you know, your hand will get tired eventually, but try not to get the shavings all over the place. But eventually you'll start getting down to a very long point, which is pretty much the goal here. And that's what you're gonna get out of a longer, kind of a higher end sharpener. You know, you could sharpen pencils in, in many different ways. Uh, if you're moving to something like the Masterpiece Sharpener, it's because the goal is to get a point that wouldn't be able to get out of something else. The long point, the automatic long point, will get you something similar to this, but that stopper is not removable. So you won't be able to get as far or an extreme a point as this. You know, you could sharpen it, but you can't get this far. You could get maybe to here, if you could imagine the wood being a little bit longer. You can see this is stopping here and the wood's not exposed. You can obviously use this, but this is at a sharper angle, so a more acute angle than the masterpiece. So you can't get as long a writing tip with the long point as you can with the masterpiece. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say the masterpiece is better, but 
it is the sort of high-end model for people that want to go extreme with their writing points. That's why it exists. It's not better, it's just different. You know, I tend to prefer the uh, automatic long point, but the masterpiece is quite cool and it's fun to use, but for me, it's more of a novelty.